Hey peoples, it's time for OJ Simpson update. <laughs> O.J. Simpson made Powell sign NDAs to visit him in his final days before all four of his children gathered at his deathbed. Are you kidding? Hell, even Nicole Brown kids showed up. Now, my question is, why are you having people sign NDAs on your deathbed, baby? Because you must be telling some stories. Now, everybody is speculating that O.J. may have left some type of letter stating if he did or he didn't do it. And baby, I want to know if that letter is true. I want to know if he confessed and did he confess to his people and that's why he got them signing NDAs because he is letting everything out but they do say if it's criminal people can speak right they can speak right so whoever went and visited OJ can y'all just let the cat out the bag just a little bit I mean he not here no more may he rest wherever the hell he at but we want to know if he did Nicole out we want to know if Nicole was gone by his hands like I, I really think he told somebody in that group I'm just, I'm just nosy. <laughs> and in all honesty, would Nicole Brown's kids show up on his bed if he actually did it? That's a good, you know, question. Because I'd be damned if my daddy took my mama out and I show up at his bed. Nah, baby, you gonna go by yourself. You can go on the glory or the hell, wherever you want by yourself, because I'm not going to support that. I may dance on your grave, but other than that, no. But back to the subject. If somebody knows that in his camp that didn't sign their NDA or fake like they signed their NDA, can you let us know what happened? Because inquiring minds want to know. Okay, bye, peoples. Yes, this lady tweeted this video. Holy smoke. CNN guest says the black community fair represented by OG Simpson because he killed white people. Mm hmm? When you go down this article, published by the New York Post, you can clearly see what exactly I'm talking about. I will play this video all so you will see exactly what is going on. I don't always like to, you know, do videos about controversies when somebody dies, but it is important we look into it. A CNN contributor spark outrage twist a CNN contributor sparked outrage Thursday by saying that O.G. Simpson represented something for the black community, particularly because there were two white people who had been actually made the comment during the network coverage of the death of the 76-year-old Simpson, the disgraced NFL legend who was acquitted in 1995 of, the, of his ex-wife, Nicole Brown, Simpson and her friend. All of us have only been able to talk about OJ in a lot of these breaks. Ashley Allison, can you take us into, I mean, he touched on how this really did divide the country in racial ways, kind of what the meaning of this was from that perspective. Yeah, I mean, I posted something on social media last night about what was your conversation in your home in 1995 when the verdict came down and what was it last night when we found out OJ died? And I, my premise is that it's still rooted on race. And the issue is the reason why that case was so charged. Um, I, too, got to watch the verdict in eighth grade. Um, this is Zizinar's class. Um, and I saw it happening. I cheer. I was happy. I don't think I had a concept of, like, who was guilty and who was not. I was a child. You know, I probably shouldn't have been watching the case about two people being killed at the end of the day. Um, but it was so racially charged because of what had happened uh, just before with Rodney King, but also just how... Black Americans feel about policing. It's not like O.J. Simpson was the, the leader of the civil rights movement of his era. You right. know, he wasn't a social justice leader, but he represented something for the black community in that moment, in that trial, particularly because there were two white people who had been killed. And the, the history around how black people have been persecuted um, during slavery, there were, there were just so many layers. And I guess I would just close with this, is that, there was racial tension then, there is racial tension now. It might not be the backdrop of the Trump campaign, but until this country is ready to actually have an honest conversation about the racial dynamics from our origin story till today, we will always have moments like O.J. Simpson that manifest, and our country will always be divided if we don't actually deal with the issue of race. Yes, I believe you've seen the video, and the reason people are outraged after watching this, it Simpson has died, finally. And now, now the stories are to unfold. A lot of people are gonna be coming out. One, Nicole Minette, she had an NDA 
and she just broke a story. I'm going to tell you all about it. She has been waiting 29 years to tell this story about OJ. So she was a junior at USC working in Topping Student Center on campus in 1995. She was an administrative assistant to the president of student affairs and in the work study program. And in early 1995, Robert Shapiro and Robert Kardashian, they were both USC alumni. They walked up to her desk. They said they had an appointment with her boss and uh, she was studying criminal to be a criminal defense lawyer with a dual major in poli sci and international relations. So she knew who they were. The meeting lasted about 30 minutes. After they left, her boss took her outside and under a tree, smoked a cigarette for the first time in years and told her to sign an NDA. It is crazy for these people to actually say this on air. Sometimes I really get offended even doing videos about people who die. Just look at what is happening now. A lot of controversies are surfaced on social media. This person is saying, oh, they decided to sign this. You know, it therefore means this man confers that he did it. You know, things like that. I've seen all reactions, you know, everywhere on social media. I want you to know your thought. There is still another video which I'm going to play. So you will see exactly what is going on. According to this tweet, Former federal persecutor Sonny Austin was seemingly on border by OG's wrongful acquitted, acquitter because police officers have killed many people than Simpson. It was less about his due or innocence and rather about the system and how the system treated African Americans. If you remember, this same Sonny Austin had a segment where she said something like she became a lawyer because of people like this that he inspired her to become a lawyer or become a persecutor something like that so you will see exactly what is happening now libras will always look for opportunity you know to speak out their minds on things we have forgotten i didn't know like a lot of people still had you know questions pertaining to this man so I had to thank God, like, oh, thank God, you know, he has finally gone. I believe when something like this has happened, we know the truth. What happened, though I was not there at that time, I'm just reading about stories. He did a bad thing. Yes, we should acknowledge it. Why is this issue of race now coming into it? Some are even encouraging it, like, oh, he did that because of this, because of that. It is insane to me. Less about his guilt or innocence, uh -huh. um, and rather about the system and how the system treated African Americans and continues to treat African Americans in this uh -huh. in, in this country. Uh -huh. um, you have to remember, and putting it into context, the acquittal of the officers who beat Rodney King almost to death in front of the world's eyes right. was in 1992. Mm. This happened in 1994, and I think for the black community, it was less about whether or not O.J. did it, because I think even... Yes, civilly. like Trump is found liable for... Rape. Yes, he was, he was the same thing. You know? Everything goes back to Trump. Um, he, he, he 